Hello! We are now finishing out Vlogtober with me vlogging on days that aren't actually mine. I'm sure Gabs will forgive me. Um, so this is technically October 29th, but I have just got back to my home here in Los Angeles and I had lots of mail um, to go through. A couple of things that I had not timed out so good in terms of my ordering and some that did time out really good. So I wanted to jump on really quick before I put everything away because that's just kind of like part of my flow today. I don't want to leave things out until tomorrow when it's actually my day to vlog. So we'll just add this baby in. So I got some goodies. The first is from a new to us company. Gabs had done some researching and had found um, where we could buy um, the different kinds of things that are used, I think, or at least one of the things that might be used for um, needle stoppers. It's this company called Star Plans and it's Star, S-T-A-R-R. -R, and they sell all kinds of different like crafting things. And one of them is um, focal beads, which I actually don't know what focal beads are used for. However, they work as stitch stoppers, or not stitch stoppers, needle stoppers. So I ordered a couple things. And so the first one that I got are these Wednesday um, stitch, well, focal beads, I guess. And so I'm very excited. I loved Wednesday on Netflix, so had to get these. And then I also got these super cute ones. These are Minnie Mouse. Um, but they're conchas, so I am super excited about these ones. And then they also threw in some additional goodies for me, so some other beads. I might save these for my nieces um, to bring back to them to see if it's something that they want to play with. They're big, um, but hopefully I won't get in trouble for them being a choking hazard. If not, Gaps will just do something with them as the like responsible adult um, between the two of us. So I got those and then I also had an order from Ruby and Rose's yarn that arrived like literally the day after I landed um, in the Bay Area three weeks ago. So this hen has been sitting waiting for me um, for a while. So her beautiful um, packaging there. Awesome. Look at that. Okay, so sorry for the crinkling. I kind of prepped it, but she includes this super, super cute note. And then let me open it. I actually don't remember exactly what it's called. I remember really liking it and I remember it being on sale. And that's pretty much all I remember. And, oh yes, it's called Witching Hour. And it is on their Rose DK base, so 85.15 to brush merino and nylon. Look how fun. Oh, I'm kind of obsessed with this. I might need to cast these on with immediacy. Love this. And it would be perfect with my Wednesday needle stoppers to do some DK socks. So I am going to go get my things put away and then I will circle back in when it's actually my day to vlog. Hello, hello, happy Vlogtober, day 30. It's like we're back at the beginning, um, back on campus and my last vlog of Vlogtober. I cannot believe um, that we've got here so far. It actually has been really fun. I've really enjoyed switching off days um, with my sister. And so stay tuned because we have a lot, a lot more content um, coming for you. Our Nick Killies labor number eight um, dropped earlier today, so go check that out if you haven't. I'm sure Gab's gonna have an exciting Halloween vlog for you, and then I do believe she has some planning for vlogs giving, but I'm not sure if she's like figured out how she wants to do that yet. I will say I woke up this morning super discombobulated because like I woke up and I was like, where am I visiting today? Like. What's, what city is it today? And I looked around, I'm like, this isn't my room, like at my parents' house, realizing I'm at my own home. Uh, <laughs> so I got it together um, eventually. And luckily I had put out most of my stuff. Um, last night's my gym bag, um, stuff I had to bring into the office, all those things and had packed my lunch, thank goodness, cause that definitely would have fallen out of my brain. So I kind of just like stumbled out of the house, forgot my glasses, had to go back, put the glasses on so I could drive to work. 
and made it to the office. I'm a little later today, but that's all right. I don't have anything that I have to have to do. I am trying out my hokas for the first time for running. And I do have my very sexy um, bright orange jacket for running. So I do have reflective things. They were just at my own home. And if I may complain about my privilege of a three week um, work trip is that when traveling to the Bay Area, it is really hard to pack for the span of weather um, that you're going to get while you're there. Even though I brought my big suitcase, like when I got to the Bay, it was like 80, 90 degrees. But then as I'm leaving, you know, it's dropped into the forties and it's like pitch black in the morning. So it's tricky, it's fine. Here I am in orange, very Halloween-y. In terms of the knitting, nothing major has gotten done um, yesterday, except for I did film the Knit Killies video and I did finish my sister's um, magic knot ball, kind of. She told me we needed 503 grams. I got her a ball of 504 and then she's like, mm, maybe we should do 525 just to be sure. And I'm like, grams! She always does this to me. She always does this to me. <sighs> so, but then I used up all the other scraps that I had on my own magic knot ball. So now I gotta go knit some stuff um, to make some scraps uh, for her. But the goal for this week is to work on the excavation sweater since I'll have time um, in the evenings. And then this coming weekend, I'm actually leaving again for travel. I have a bachelorette party that I'm going to up in Oregon. And then actually the weekend after that, I will be home in the Bay Area to visit my sister over veterans weekend. I needed to get an extra flight so I could make A-list status with Southwest. And then the weekend after that is the SoCal Fiber Fair. And then the weekend after that, is Thanksgiving and then the weekend after that we'll have already started Vlogmas and that weekend I'm also home again because it is uh, Lottie and Lenny's dance recital and then the weekend after that is the half marathon and that takes us basically into December so it is a very 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 full fall so I'm kind of bracing myself um, for all of that but I have now made it to the gym so I better get my act together and go on this run to test out these shoesies. All right, so I just got home. I did have to stop at the grocery store. Um, hold on, I actually need to go this way. Before I came home um, for work because I was in charge of the pumpkins for tomorrow's Halloween party and I forgot to buy those yesterday. So I have retrieved the pumpkins. And now that I am home, I do actually need to pop out to my backyard to water my plants, which I forgot to water yesterday in the evening time. It has been three weeks since they've been watered. So hopefully they're generally alive or so, but I'm gonna go do that. I still need to change, this is my work outfit. And I need to figure out what I'm making for dinner because I prepped for food for lunches and prepped nothing for myself to eat for dinner. So we have an evening and then hopefully I can settle into knitting on the excavation sweater. I do want to get like at least some color work done on it. I don't know why I'm dragging my heels on it. Maybe it's because I have to like focus more when I do it. And so it doesn't feel like as fun to like pick up and put back down or like, you know, the color work is intricate. So like it doesn't feel like the progress is going as fast. I will get it done, um, but all over color work, maybe that's not my jam. I have done another sweater that was all over color work and I do remember that one. I had to like literally put my head, head down and blitz it. Um, so maybe I'm just like a color work yoke kind of gal and that's really my bread and butter. But I better go water these poor plants that have been like thirsting and you know dehydrated for the past three weeks.
Alrighty, so I just finished off this last section here of collar work. I was actually much farther along um, on it than I thought I was. So I have one more section of the like designated pattern or the designated motifs. And then I do the rest um, based on like fit um, for me. So I'm estimating with adding one more on, I'm probably going to need to do two or three more motifs. So let's just err on the side of three. So I think the goal is to do probably like a motif a day. I do fly out on Thursday and I probably won't have a lot of knitting time tomorrow because I will be at work for a Halloween party until about 6.30. So I'll get home by seven. I might be able to finish one of the motifs maybe. I'll, um, I'll definitely start one um, tonight, at least get it going a little bit. And then, so again, I have until the 26th, so it's about 26 more days. Um, the thing is, is that the sleeves are all color work as well. So, hmm. I technically only have to finish one sleeve um, to finish the test, but I do like to have the whole sweater done. So I should be fine um, because even though I'm traveling a lot of the weekends, I do have a couple of days starting in the month of November that I will get to work from home. Um, so that will help with not having to commute to work to work on this. So I think as long as I commit like to working on it at least a little bit every day, I should have no problem with finishing it by the deadline. So. I'm gonna get started on a little bit of knitting on the next color work chart. I am really tired and I think it's just, it's a different kind of tired than what I felt like when I was traveling. I was tired then too, but this was just like, you know, a full day of being in the office, lots of questions um, coming at me. So I just need to get my like office legs um, back. So I'm gonna probably work on this. Uh, I was watching Beauty and the Beast, but I think I might switch over um, to watch my sister's um, vlog and probably we'll call it a night. After that, I'll show a little bit more of this. And then I just wanna thank you so much for tagging along with me um, for my half of vlogtober it has been so fun switching off with my sister to do this month and it really flew by so stay tuned for a lot of the exciting things that we have coming up and then i will be back with daily vlogs uh for vlogmas so i will for sure um catch you then but i'm sure i'll make some guest appearances on my sister's vlogs our podcasts so Thank you again so much. And I do have a special um, message from some of my students today on this is what they wanted to share on the vlog. JK, a little bit more of me before we get to my students, but I watched my sister's vlog and was able to get a couple more rows in. So it turns out this section was longer than I thought it was. So it was, each of these were around 10 rows each. This one was a little bit longer. So I am actually farther along in this than I thought I was. I have about six more rows left before I restart um, the motifs. So I feel pretty good. I'm confident I can finish those six rows tomorrow. And so then I'll be in a good um, spot. I did also want to share my other knitting that I've been working on. So this was my sock that I started on Saturday for airport knitting. And I got Hmm, I think it was, I think I got through the cuff before we left and I did all of this sitting at the airport. I meant to do knitting on the plane and then I fell asleep. Um, but here we are. This is Zombody eating, Zombody's eating candy corn from Desert Vista Dye Works. So this is what I will knit on during our Halloween party tomorrow. So I will bring that with me and then that will close out my final Vlogtober with you all. These are my only two whips that I have going on right now. Oh, this was also the Magic Knot Ball that I added for myself um, last night. So again, woohoo!
pretty good, I would say. Thank you so much for joining us and have a spooky, spooky Halloween. It's filming now. Shout out Vlogtober, slip something sis. Let's go, we hit him 10 mil by the end of October. Let's get it. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh, turn on like he turn on post notifications. Uh, make sure you're part Smash of the Slipsis crew. Button. Smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.